Hi guys, what you see here is the secondary mirror support for a 65 cm Newtonian telescope that will be mounted in a full carbon tube. And uh, the structure was designed and manufactured by Gemini. What I want to explain you are the most important uh, design features of this uh, product. First thing you will note is the many holes that you see on this structure, okay, beginning from the bottom plate to all the parts that uh, consist this uh, structure. The reason is to create a structure that is optimized between weight and structural rigidity. Where the stress level is low, for example, in the center of the rectangle, you can remove weight without risking uh, high fracture levels. The idea of making the central part of the structure practically the same diameter as the secondary mirror is again a way of maximizing rigidity against weight because the central obstruction is determined by the size of the secondary mirror so we have all the diameter to use for creating a structure that is as rigid as possible. What is the main source of fracture in a spider structure? It's the fin, because it's normally thin sheet material. So, by minima minimizing the length of the fins and maximizing their axial dimension, we create the most uh, uh, stable structure possible within the geometrical frame. The next highlight is the precision of the collimation. This will be used in an F3.5 system, which means that we have very, very strict tolerances on collimation. How did I achieve the design goal? In the center, I use a spring-loaded self-aligning bearing, which means that there is no play at all, and during the tilt, of the mounting plate, the central position of the mirror is maintained. The other important feature is the support of the collimation bolts. The collimation bolt has a steel bar mounted in its tip. This is a ball bearing element. And on the counterpart, you probably can't see it, but there is a small piece of hardened steel sheet glued to the aluminium. Uh, the other feature of the collimation is this screw that is fine-tuning the rotation of the secondary mirror. It is based uh, on a ball joint and uh, this screw that is uh, and controlling the position. The next feature I want to talk about is the center of gravity of this system. Uh, what is not actually seen now is that here we will put a shredded rod and a counterweight which is adjustable and once the secondary mirror is mounted with three steel clips we will find the center of gravity of the whole structure and the counterweight will be adjusted in a way that the center of gravity which was already designed to fall very near this plane will fall exactly into the plane where the fins will be mounted. Why is this important? Because when the optical tube is changing position the flexure which is mainly deriving from the fins will change. But if we put the center of gravity into the plane of the mounting of the fins, this differential flexure will be at a minimum. Uh, for mounting the mirror 
I choose this structure which is very open and the reason is that in this way we not only save weight but we ensure that uh, the mirror will reach thermal equilibrium in the minimal time possible.